Body, press ups now. We could do an easy version, but we're not. We're going to put our hands on the floor. Okay. We'll do some decline presses. You ready? Yeah. There we go. Halfway. Yeah. All right, staying with the arms. Let's get some triceps working different versions, you're doing straight or bent. Okay, let's get ready, three, two, one. Halfway. Beautiful. All right, abs. Yep. We're gonna work the obliques. <coughs> On this one, we're gonna do the bicycle leg. Right elbow to left knee, lie down. Press your back against the mat. Arms out, ready, right elbow, left knee. Let's go. This is one, this is two, three, four, five. Remember to breathe. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. Woo! Come here. High five. Down. And don't leave me hanging. <laughs> thank you, ladies. Thank you. You like okay. to just give me a quick interview? Alright. Okay. Good. 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 Ladies, I really appreciate you uh, giving me the time for this interview here today. You're welcome. Okay. And I just like to let the viewers know where we are today. Which part we're in? Yeah. We're in Tottenham. <laughs> is that, wow, is that the, the, the posh part of Tottenham? Yeah, the very posh part. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the ends. <laughs> okay. My second question is, um, let's just start with your names. Okay, so my name is Suzette. I'm Jesus Jacob. And I'm Debbie G. Ladies, nice to see you today in the morning. Tell me, what brings you in the park this morning? I mean, you could have been doing anything. You could be at home, relaxing, eating potato chips. But um, why are you here? <laughs> Excellent question. Why am I here? I should be in my bed, but no, these women dragged me out on Saturday to come do some training. Great, great, <laughs> Even great. though we've been in lockdown, we also like to continue our fitness regime, whether we do it on our own or we do it as a group of friends, so that's why we brought Judith out here today. Yeah. Dragged me out, yeah. Fantastic point, fantastic point. The world is a different place for when it was, from what it was last year. I mean, um, how, how, how are your ladies? How has your regime been? Eventually, we got into having right. Zoom classes, which right, really right. helped get me back into my fitness. And then once we were able to get out and about in the park, that's been great to meet up with friends and just work out. Fantastic. Yeah. I've been working out at home. I've got a, a, a roof. I haven't got a garden. <laughs> <laughs> but I've, been, I've got some weights. I've got my weights and my man's weights, but he don't use them. So I've been taking advantage of it. Fantastic. And I've been, I'm an instructor as well, so I've been teaching some okay. classes on Zoom. Fantastic. Yeah, so lockdown has allowed me to transform my back room into a mini gym stroke studio. Wow. And that's where I deliver my online classes through SCB Fitness. I okay. have got an um, Instagram page and I've also got a Facebook page where I can leave details for anyone who wants to join me. Okay, the links will be down below. We'll get back to the social media and the links will definitely be down below. It sounds really interesting. And carry on. Yes, and so through those classes, I deliver um, a variety of exercises. We do hip classes, we do legs, bums, and tums, uh, weight-based classes, and it's just allowed me to um, continue with my fitness and also to help the people out there whilst we're being in lockdown to continue with their fitness at home, so they don't feel like they have to, um, what's the word, digress? You know, mm. not do any training at all. Fantastic. I mean. Um this lockdown is a difficult situation. I mean, what kind of advice would you give to people who uh, find it hard? They want to get fit, the gyms are opening slowly, but they've lost their fitness level. I mean, what kind of advice could you give them? Well, I would say don't put pressure on yourself, first of all, because <clears throat> things have changed and mentally it puts a, t a toll on you. Right, go right. and have a walk. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the first yeah. thing. Just go out, have a walk. Did you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Fre fresh air. And I think the more you start to do that is not stressful, the more you're going to want to do. Fantastic. Yes, that's the way to come back. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I think another thing is to schedule your activity time like a meeting, because so many people say, oh, I want to exercise, right. but I can't find the time. So if you put it in like a meeting, say 10 minutes, in your diary, you know that's your time to go out and do whatever activity you want to do. And hopefully your friends and family will respect that time that you've put in your fantastic diary advice, and not fantastic. ask you to do stuff. So it's all about commitment and like Judy said, not to stress over it. So it's also, also about uh, making time for yourself as yeah, well. That's key. Yeah. You know, you've got to look after yourself first before you can help anybody else. Yeah. So yeah. fitness, yeah. fitness and health is definitely wealth. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> uh, one more thing. Let's let's touch on diets. How important is diet in uh, in your activities? Well, do you, like do you have clean diet? diet? Is, there, is there McDonald's involved? The KFC involved? It's definitely. It's, I would say as long as you eat eighty percent well. Okay. Then I, I don't think anybody should deprive themselves of cake. Mm, yes. Because cake is very important in life. You heard the lady. You heard the lady. <laughs> I agree. It's all in moderation. You can yeah. eat anything you want. You can have your Nando's. You can have your KFC. You can okay. Have That's good news to our to our viewers for sure. <laughs> I know, but it's all in moderation. Yeah. Yeah. Team. yeah. All in moderation. Fantastic advice. Uh, let's touch on the subject of um, your mental well-being, your mental strength, especially with the lockdown. A lot of people are struggling. I mean, how's how's what's the correlation between fitness and mental health? Well, fitness brings out the endorphins. Endorphins. Uh -huh. It makes you happy. Um, just by being active for maybe like just 10 minutes a day just brings out all the happy feelings inside right, of you. Right, right. You know, you're, you're moving around, you're not just sitting there, you're thinking about your activities you're doing. So hopefully that will help reduce any mental uh, anxiety you may be getting through the lockdown. And because uh, what Sue's is saying, by doing something, you've now got a, a, a distraction, you've got something else yeah. that you're correct, doing correct. with yourself. And what you were saying about time for yourself. Yeah. Because by taking that 10 minutes out of the day mm. to do something, whether it's a skip, and people must um, not underestimate skipping. Skipping is, like if you haven't got no injuries, skipping is great. Mm. You don't have to go far. Just get a room and skip. And good just advice, good advice. 10 minutes yeah. for yourself. Excellent. So people who don't have uh, money for membership can come down to the park and it's all free, yeah? And yeah, we don't have to yeah. spend this big money. No, look at the steps. Yeah. Use the steps, use the benches, use yeah. the grass. It's all free. The you park is no your money. gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> improvise as Improvise in your gym. Yeah. Bars right, right. you can pull up on, yeah. step up on there, do those yeah. walking lunges and step. That's yeah, right. You can really have a good workout. You don't need park. loads of money or big expensive gym memberships to keep fit. Fantastic ladies, fantastic advice. I'm just going to ask you one more question, then I'm going to cut you loose. What's the best piece of advice anyone has ever given you towards your fitness? I would say to make time for yourself, like Suzette was saying. You've got right. to allocate that time so you know it's for you and you feel a bit more committed to doing it and to making the effort. Fantastic. Um, remember that it's your training, it's your exercises, and you may know somebody up the road who can do, I don't know, 80 burpees in five minutes that's them yeah. don't pressure yourself for your right, own right. your training for you take it step by step yes i was going to say exactly the same thing as judith so now i've got to think of another <laughs> <laughs> anyway you on the spot now anyway, <laughs> challenge make a goal for yourself i think that's, that's very excellent. important it right. could be anything it could be like maybe if you go to a park the first time you can jog it but you keep stopping so make it goal say in four weeks I'll be able to jog around the whole park without stopping. When you make the goals it's easier for you to commit to your fitness because you know that there's something at the end for you. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, we did mention social media before. Judith, have you got any uh, social media that you'd like to promote? Well, I'm a social media whore. <laughs> so you can find me on oh, Facebook, yeah. Twitter and Instagram on my name, Judith Jacob. Fantastic. And and you, and you was talking earlier. You said you had you had a radio show. I do. I am on two radio stations on a Monday, four till six p.m. Wow. It's a, a magazine show myself and Keith Palmer, and that's on Injection Radio. We have guests on there. So it's a very busy show. We have lots of interviews. Fantastic. And then on Thursday on Conscious Radio One Hundred Two FM. A busy lady. A busy it's, lady uh, indeed. One till four p.m. You will catch me on air. Me mainly playing music. I do tend to have a guest on. Can you can you repeat the station? Um, it's Conscious Radio One Hundred Two FM. Fantastic, fantastic. I hope our viewers will definitely check into you ladies. So I'm going to cut you loose now. I'd just like you to say one more thing before we uh, move on. And um, you are now tuned into Ooh. Health is Wealth channel. Oh, <laughs> do, you, do you want us to repeat that as well? Yes, I do. Okay, okay. You are now tuned, tuned into Health is Wealth channel. Thanks a lot, <laughs> ladies. Fantastic interview. Bye-bye.